Alright guys, well it's Sunday morning and uh, I figured I'd show you guys how to remove a link from a bike chain or any type of a chain. So what we got here is a, is a standard bicycle chain. I got it set up here in the vise. So when you're gonna, when you want to shorten or take a link out, what you're gonna need is a punch set. You're gonna need a punch that's gonna be able to not you know just fit right where the right where the you know like the pin is in the chain so there's the pin so you don't want it to go over it you want it just to be small enough so that it can sit right in the middle of that pin so that when you okay so now after that well you'll need a hammer too because you're going to need to knock the pin out so then you take your grinder I'm not going to do it for you because it's kind of it kind of loud this grinder. So you're going to take your grinder. I mean, if you have a Dremel, something smaller too. I have a Dremel, but I didn't think to take that out. But then uh, you have your your pin. So okay, say you want to say you want to cut your chain to about here. And you want to take that pin out. So now you're going to take your grinder and you're going to grind that pin down so that it's level with like this like this connector here see how there's like two pieces to the chain there's that piece and then there's that piece so you want it with the first you once you grind that down you grind the pin down so it's level then you're gonna take your punch and your hammer after you've ground it down you're gonna hit it and it should pop right out and then you'll have, of course, what I don't have right now is a master link. And you take your master link and you connect the two ends up and, you know, then you're golden. So that's how you remove a, uh, a link from a chain. The redneck way, I guess. Because there's a tool that I think does that for you. But I'm too cheap to buy the tool, so why not do it my own way? And I mean, this works, this works great. But, you know, you got to make sure that you have it in something like this, you know, a vise. Or if you have, like, a block of wood, like a block of wood like this, you're going to need to put a hole somewhere so that the chain, you know, that pin fits. But it doesn't, you know, this whole link doesn't get lost in the hole. So you want it small enough that the pin can fall out through because... You want to be able to, when you're gonna hit, when you're gonna hit the pin out, you know, you need something to brace it on both sides. So you, when you, you know, so then you have the little hole. It drops down into the hole, and you're you're golden. I mean, the vice, the vice might not be, you know. I mean, if you have a bigger vice, this is a small vice, but if you have a bigger vice, you can really, you know, squash that in there so that it doesn't move. So when you're, I mean, because you know. It might move when you're banging on it, you know. So, I mean, just just get a setup. Like, you know, I mean, there's different ways you can do it. Drill a hole, like I say, through the piece of wood small enough so that the pin can drop through, but not the whole link. You know, or a powerful enough vice that, you know, you can put a lot of pressure down on and it can really, you know, grab that chain so that it won't, uh, you know won't pop out when you're hammering it but uh yeah if you have any more questions about removing the link and uh let me know personal message me comment whatever but uh yeah all right you take care guys and uh yeah thanks all my subscribers again i got some new ones this this week so i got a lot of new subscribers so i thank you guys and uh all right take care